Ireland's only victory of the tournament and France saw them finish 11th overall and crucially secure a place for next season's Irish team at the 2019 World Rugby U20 Championship in Argentina. Japan outscored them by five tries to four but are relegated to the World Rugby U20 trophy for the second time in three seasons. Tries from Johnny Stewart 4 minutes, Dan Sheehan 10 and Peter Sylvester 33 established the 22-12 halftime lead for Ireland, who had a vital contribution from out half Harry Byrne. Ross Byrne's younger brother kicked 19 points, including four penalties in the second half, to finish with 42 points for the championship. Japan's strongly built danger man Seo Seafafita kept them in touch with a quick fire brace of tries nearing the hour mark, and fellow winger Halito of LA's 72nd minute score, converted by Yuto Mori, made it a one point game. However, Ireland showed impressive composure to work Tommy O'Brien over in the left corner and debutante Dylan Tierney forced a last minute penalty at the breakdown to finally settle the issue. Captain Kalen Doris, who made 17 of his 18 tackles and won two turnovers, said afterwards, it was incredibly tough, it went right down to the last minute. That last defensive set we were all out on our feet. Thankfully Dylan came in with the jackal and won it for us. Incredibly tough game. We saw what Japan could bring, some really strong runners, and they came close against Wales and Georgia. So we knew it was going to be a tough battle and we are delighted now to finish on a high. We had a very tough group, three really physical teams in France, South Africa and Georgia. Unfortunately we came up short but I'm delighted with the character the boys have shown to bounce back and to make sure the lads next year are back in this competition is great, injuries severely impacted head coach Noel McNamara's selection before and during the tournament, so much so that five players were making their fifth starts in 19 days against the Baby Blossoms, including former skipper O'Brien who is booked in to have surgery on a shoulder injury this coming Tuesday. Scrum half Stewart, making his 19th appearance for the Ireland U20s, ensured they put points on the board in a strong start. His half-back partner Byrne missed an initial penalty, but Japan were pushed back towards their try line in seven phases and Stewart threw a dummy to snipe over from the back of a ruck and make it 7-0. Number 10 Byrne made a terrific break from his own in the build-up to the opening try, while new cap Michael Lowry was also looking lively from full-back. Try number two was all about the forwards and a clever line-out move, Hooker Sheehan throwing in five meters out to Jack Dunn, Cormac Daly combining with Doris who switched back to the short side where he sent Sheehan powering over in the corner. Trailing 12-0, Japan regrouped and one of their leading lights throughout the tournament, Falia, crossed for a much-needed converted try on the quarter-hour mark. They buried their attack, threatening from a cross-field kick which Lowry did really well to gather. However, a penalty advantage allowed them to set up a well-executed mall and tighthead Sukayama touchdown to bring them level. It was further evidence of Ireland's frustrating ability to cough up points after scoring themselves, but they diligently wrestled back control of the game and the scoreboard in the lead-up to the interval. Number 8 Doris tore through the Japanese defense, with Byrne running a very good support line before splitting the posts with a 29th-minute penalty for offside. McNamara's charges were quickly back within scoring range thanks to the efforts of James Hume and Doris again, and UCC center Sylvester managed to muscle over for a try following some sustained pressure on the Japanese line. Burns successfully negotiated the tricky conversion into the wind, giving Ireland a 10-point buffer as the break. Doris and his teammates appeared to tighten their grip on the game in the early stages of the second period. The reliable burn knocked over successive penalties after 43, 47 and 49 minutes to open up a 31-12 advantage. But it was his missed tackle in midfield when allowed the Tongan-born Fafita to spark Japan back into life with a well-taken 55th minute try, converted by Mori. The distribution of Mori and influential replacements from half Shinobu Fujiwara was bringing Fafita and the Baby Blossom's big carriers more and more into the game. 
the Japanese pack went through the phases following a penalty and a line out deep in the Irish 22, and Fafita again proved unstoppable as he crossed to suddenly close the gap to 31 to 26. Byrne punished a collapsed scrum to send over a 63rd minute penalty and steady Ireland at 34 to 26, but Japan had more in reserve with their forwards continuing to work hard and both Fafita and Balea proving tough to stop. They tried to stretch Ireland and it did the job as Balea was quick off the mark to finish an opportunity with 8 minutes remaining. Accidental offside gave Ireland the platform of a scrum in the Japanese 22 and nice hands from Byrne and center Sean O'Brien set up Tommy O'Brien to evade the clutches of Balea and crash over in the corner for the ninth and final try of this gripping contest. Byrne was unable to convert the wingers' expertly finished score, but Japan's last gasp attempts to manufacture a response, taking Ireland through 19 phases, were thwarted by replacement hooker Tierney who was unmovable as he latched onto a breakdown ball to win the clinching penalty. Line, 1 minute, Ireland penalty, missed by Harry Byrne 0-0, 4 minutes, Ireland try, Johnny Stewart 5-0, conversion, Harry Byrne 7-0, 10 minutes, Ireland try, Dan Sheehan 12-0, conversion, missed by Harry Byrne 12-0, 15 minutes, Japan try, Alato of LA 12-5, conversion, Yudo Mori 12-7, 22 minutes, Japan try, Rento Sukayama 12-12, conversion, missed by Yudo Mori 12-12, 29 minutes, Ireland penalty, Harry Byrne 15-12, 33 minutes, Ireland try, Peter Sylvester 20-12, conversion, Harry Byrne 22-12, halftime, Ireland 22 Japan 12, 43 minutes, Ireland penalty, Harry Byrne 25-12, 47 minutes, Ireland penalty, Harry Byrne 28-12, 49 minutes, Ireland penalty, Harry Byrne 31-12, 55 minutes, Japan try, Seo Seafita 31-17, conversion, Yudo Mori 31-19, 59 minutes, Japan try, Seo Seafita 31-24, conversion, Yuto Mori 31-26, 63 minutes, Ireland penalty, Harry Byrne 34-26, 72 minutes, Japan try, Alato Avelea 34-31, conversion, Yuto Mori 34-33, 76 minutes, Ireland try, Tommy O'Brien 39-33, conversion, missed by Harry Byrne 39-33, Full-time, Ireland 39 Japan 33 Referee, Carl Dixon England Copyright 2018 Ulster Rugby Privacy